Hey everyone, it's Sunny. So, long time no hooded eyes tutorial, but here we are again. This tutorial is going to be for a natural eye look for hooded eyes. Now, I have seen tons and tons of new tutorials for hooded eyes, but they tend to be with a lot more makeup. Now, what I want to do is do a tutorial that is wearable for every day, very light. I actually don't even have any eyeliner on top of my lashes at all and this is really suitable if you happen to get hooded eyes due to aging so a lot of us the eyes start kind of sagging as we age a lot of people are already born with hooded eyes meaning like I for example was so my mine aren't terribly hooded you know they're not they're like a babyhood <laughs> but when I look straight on you can't really see the moving part of my eyelid it gets kind of swallowed in and there are special challenges with that now I kind of talk you through all the little hints and tips um, these are tips that I've used on tons and tons of people and they're always like wow I didn't know that my eyes could look so big or that hood could actually semi disappear um, yeah I would prefer if everybody just did good and clever makeup as opposed to spend thousands and thousands and thousands on un unnecessary eye surgery. I do know that with some people it is actually necessary or it's gotten so bad but um, before it does let's try and use makeup for it and if you like my channel um, be please subscribe below, check me out on Instagram. I'm not really doing Facebook at all anymore so I'm not even going to say that. Um, sometimes tweet but usually my Twitter is not related to makeup. It's kind of I get on a little, my little political horse, I guess. But check me out on that as well if you're interested. Um, and also below, I am gonna link some other hooded eye tutorials that I have done if you wanna check them out. So anyway, let's get started. Oh, and I do need to warn you, I am gonna start with the eyes, so I'm gonna zoom in and it's gonna be me without makeup zoomed in. So please don't be scared. So starting straight off with a crazy close up, I'm gonna do the eyes first as they're the main thing of the tutorial. Now. It is really important to use an eye primer when you've got hooded eyes, um, otherwise the makeup creases completely. Now I am using Concrete Minerals, the, what is the product called? Electric Eye Primer. Now what I like about this is that it's a little bit almost oily feeling, so especially if you have older eyelids that tend to get dry, it really almost, it feels like it treats them a little bit and obviously cruelty free and vegan and all that. Also liner tends to travel from liner where it's meant to be onto uh, the lid. With hooded eyelids there's so much contact with your lash line and um, the lid up above so it's not great. I'm going to be using a Marc Jacobs palette. This is called the Lolita palette and we are going to start off with this pale champagne -y pink. You do not need to have the same palette. Um, that is absolutely not necessary. Just a champagne -y pink. Not too much shimmer. I want to keep this into a really natural um, tutorial. And this is a beautiful tart brush. I got this just before Christmas. I absolutely love it. And so I am patting this product on to the moving part of the eyelid. I do go all the way to the inner corner to bring some light there, but I do not go above the crease, so I keep it to the eyelid. Also, I tend to add a little highlight just under, so inner corner and under, just to brighten up and open the eyes even more. Now I'm gonna use another super beautiful tart brush. I love this. These, I don't know, don't have names, so I can't tell you. So I am going to use the second color here, which is a very medium sort of light brown. Now, with hooded eyelids, as the problem is, often you see more of the eyelid than the eye. You kind of want to minimize that. So putting anything shimmery, anything too light onto the upper lid area will really bring the lid forward and recess your eye. So what I am going to do is I am putting a slightly darker tone than my skin tone 
onto the crease. Now, obviously, if you've got a different skin tone to me, you would use a different color. This one works for me. And when you're checking yourself in the mirror, it should look straight on. Don't go like this, don't go like this. Look straight on. And it should show up so that it's kind of like, for me and my eye shape, it kind of suits me to go almost like use up half of that lid space because it is, in essence, it's actually making my eye look bigger by shading part of the lid. Now, try and stay within this area here. So, because if you pull it, like often hooded lids as well are accompanied by kind of downturned eyes. Mine don't happen to be that, but if yours are, it's even more important to keep the color from between here and here. And I'm going to keep using, actually, shall I keep using the same brush or shall I change brushes? I think this works. And I am just going to run it under as well. I use a super soft brush. I don't use any kind of eyeliner under the eyes with hooded eyes because I want to keep the look soft and also I want to keep the eyes open. So always remember to check straight on, looking straight on at the mirror to see how much of the eyeshadow you can actually see. Now there is a super dark tone here and I'm going to use it so, so, so lightly. In fact, I might mix it a little bit with the medium tone and I am going to looking straight on again and just from this line a little bit that way I'm going to put a little helper dot just there and that is <laughs> almost all I'm going to do. I'm putting a dot and I'm blending it a little bit. Now this deepens the crease here but it takes away part of the skin in a weird way. I don't know it's a little bit like surgery. I often, when people are like, unless it's medically required for hooded eyelids, I don't want people to do any kind of eyelid surgery. I want them to just do a little bit of clever makeup. Now, eyeliner. I'm using Tarte's Sex Kitten. This is so cute. It has little cat ears. And I am not going to draw it in the traditional place. I'm going to draw it at the root of my lashes on the inside waterline. I'm doing a super thin line and I'm really kind of putting it at the very root of the lashes. Now, because you don't have a lot of visible moving eyelid space, I don't want to waste that on eyeliner and I also want the look to be so natural. So this is a really good trick and I'm hoping you can see on camera the difference between these two eyes. So the roots of these lashes um, should appear darker. So darker roots blonder roots. If you've got super dark lashes, it's not really necessary to do this. And also, if you get a little bit of transfer from the top waterline onto the bottom, I just use a Q-tip and clean it up. I sometimes put a tiny bit of eye drop in the Q-tip. What I'm also going to do with this is put a couple of dots at the roots of my lashes below. And this kind of creates just like a slightly starry eye look because it accentuates the uh, mascara in a really nice way. You'll see. Always curl your lashes. And if you have hooded eyes, unless you obviously have already very curly eyelashes. At the root, my favorite lash curler is um, Shimmerin. Although now being cruelty free, give me some ideas for cruelty free lash curlers because next time I buy it, it might not be Shimmerin. Then I'm gonna use two mascaras on top of each other for two reasons. Um, Number one, I want fullness. And number two is always finish off with a waterproof or a temperature proof coat. Because if you're like me and your lashes actually touch the skin above, you're gonna get little tiny dots all over your hood. And that is not a good thing because it just looks messy. So for example, I love this mascara Too Faced Better Than Sex. However, if I was just to use this one, it does transfer onto the skin so I need to seal I only really seal the tips of the lashes but lashes are important when you do have hooded eyes because they really open it up 
I love lash extensions on the hooded eyes as well as individual lashes. If you've got very hooded eyes, I would stay away from strip lashes completely. Um, I do use some myself every once in a while, but mine are more like baby hood so far. Obviously, they're going to get worse. And so now I'm using Idun Minerals waterproof. This is actually temperature proof, not waterproof. So it comes off in water that's hotter than 38 or 98 Fahrenheit, 38 Celsius. And this is a genius product because it really just no matter how much my lashes touch the skin above it will never smudge and it goes without saying you need to go all the way to the roots of the lashes and where you drew the line at the inner water line this really helps make your lashes look thicker it's such a good trick on my bottom lashes i tend to only use this um Mostly because I hate big brushes on lower lashes. So I am just going to do one coat of this on the lower lashes. I don't like to do this very much that a lot of people like to do. I just like to use a traditional method. I'm going to zoom out for a bit because I'm going to do the rest of my face before I do the brows. So I am using Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I think everybody in the world loves this and I am definitely one of those people. It's just so incredible. Yay. It feels amazing. I think this might be my current favorite, the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. And my shade is a warm ivory. This, the texture of this and with the primer is just crazy. It is crazy also how expensive it is, but it's so good and it's cruelty free. And both of the products are vegan so yeah there's <laughs> like lots of ways to justify it but yeah it's probably just the best foundation in the world for for myself that is and I buff it in with another cute tart brush from the set I bought before Christmas these are so super soft and I'm on a quest for um, vegan brushes obviously now so very slowly I am uh, replacing my old brushes, which brings me to the painful conclusion that I am going to have to sell my Tom Ford brushes, I think. Ouch. Next, I'm going to use uh, the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Neutral. I love this. I only wish the Dofa applicator was a little bit smaller. You need the tiniest amount. This thing really would put on... Whoa, that was somebody going really fast on the road. Um, anyways, we'll move on. This is the real techniques and it doesn't say which brush it is. It's a brush like looks like that. I don't actually know the name of it. That's bad, isn't it? Now I'm just gonna blend my under eye concealer. This space stays put on me so, 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 so well. I am considering putting this into my pro kit as well buying all the shades because it is such a great under eye concealer i don't really need a powder with this foundation i am going to use a little bit of diffused light um, ambient powder by hourglass and i'm just going to put it under my eyes nose center of forehead and kind of around the nose as well actually i do have a little couple of blemishes there so i might set them with that but yeah that's that's all the powder I am going to be doing. I think I'm gonna zoom in and do the brows now before I finish the rest of the mace because that is the way I normally do it anyways. So, zooming in. So I'm gonna brush any other products off the brows first and then I am going to brush them down. I feel like for hooded eyes, brows are incredibly important. And I'm going to use Anastasia's Duo in Taupe. I'm going to use both colors and uh, this is Makeup Forever's uh, eyebrow brush and the darker shade I start off kind of two-thirds of the way in and do the upper brow line yeah as I was saying about the brows because it really frames your eyes and it can be a miracle lift literally a miracle lift so have them done professionally um, I usually go to Blink Brow Bars. I love them and they give you a little massage as well, which is nice. 
and then I do the lower brow line and then I kind of wipe off the brush in a little bit of tissue and I go on to the lighter shade and here I just brush upwards But don't let them take off like tons and tons under either. I would say clean it up, get a good shape. But the more you take off under here, the more, again, visible top lid you have. So some brow artists kind of tell you that, oh, you need to really raise the brows. But really, the more you take off under, the more lid you have. And that's not what we want. Um, I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury's Legendary Brows. And look at the size of this teeny, tiny, tiny brush it is the smallest brush in the world but if you so if you have super super thick brows this isn't really gonna do much for you but i absolutely love this product due to the fact that it has a teeny teeny tiny brush so i brush them all in and then i kind of draw a line to just make the top arch sharp but not i'm not into the instagram super sharp brows at all i don't think it's flattering a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury's a Film Star Bronze and Glow. I'm actually only going to use the highlighter from it. I don't feel like doing a bit of contour. I'm kind of off contouring right now. Unless I know that I'm going to be on TV or something like that. I'm kind of keeping it to that. I feel like that time has slightly passed. So, uh, as blush, I'm going to use the Hourglass, what is this, Diffused Heat. Beautiful colour, oh my god. Such a beautiful colour. Yet another Tarte brush. I swear to you, I am not sponsored by Tarte or Hourglass or Charlotte Tilbury for that matter. I just happen to love the products and this blush brush is just perfect. It is actually, this is really good for contour as well. And let's do a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte? <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury's Live It Up. So I do it once, then I blot, and then I line. I'm using NYX Natural. And then I just add a little bit more. And we're done. So that was my natural eye look for hooded eyes and obviously a little bit of um, makeup as well. Let me know what video you'd like to see um, next. I would love to hear from you. Uh, I'm always looking for ideas and I'm going to see you again next week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.